Hello, hello. Uh, today we're going to show you guys how to make a super simple um, flying AI. Um, Unreal Engine comes with a lot of really useful tools, so you can actually do this for ground AI pretty easily. Unfortunately, they have nothing for flying AI built into the engine, um, which really stinks. So, um, when I'm dealing with prototyping and stuff like that, I don't want to spend too much time on diving too much into my AI for enemies, uh, which I'm doing right now, actually. So, I actually came across this little trick uh, for quickly prototyping uh, flying AIs. So, uh, let's get into this here. I will toss some of these into my scene just to show you guys what the end result will look like. Cool. Pretty neat, right? Um, end result here today isn't going to have a health bar or do any damage to the player or deal any damage, or sorry, or take any damage like I'm doing right now. Um, this is simply just a guide on the movement. Uh, there's a lot of resources out there for the other stuff. Uh, or I can make a tutorial if, this, uh, if there's enough requests to do it. So what you're going to start by doing is you're going to go and make a blueprint class and we're going to make a new actor. This actor I'm going to call uh, Tut Flying AI. Cool. So just to start in here we are going to add a what's it called? Skeleton mesh, jeez. Here we are, uh, and we're gonna call this um, enemy mesh. Cool. I'm gonna drag that onto the scene root just to get rid of that uh, white little circle there. So I'm really care for it. My mesh is super small, um, so who knows what's going on with that? Who does know what's going on? Oh, and I don't even have it in there. Let's see, brain dead. Don't need. So, I'm gonna toss in this enemy mesh. I know it should be about that big, so scale yours to how it should be. Cool. We have our enemy mesh in there. We're gonna add a new component here called projectile movement, and we're gonna call this flying AI. Uh, and so, essentially, like I said before, this is not an end-all, be-all solution. Um, what we're going to do here is basically cheat a little bypass through AI and actually do it through projectile movement. Uh, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to open up this flying AI. And I'm just going to set it to some speed that whatever you're happy with, whatever kind of speed you want this to have, we're going to set it here. Um, so we're going to come down here and we're going to make sure we hit is homing projectile. And this is actually how our projectile is going to track the player um, because we're going to set it as a homing projectile to go towards the player. Um, and that homing magnitude, this is about probably what you would consider a turn rate for in the air flying turn rate. Uh, and this number will also correlate with the speed you set at the beginning. So keep that in mind when you're playing around with the values and you're trying to find what's right. I found these values work pretty nicely together, so I'm going to leave it here. But uh, whenever you change the speed of one, you might want to change the uh, turning speed. So, oh, let's make sure we uh, specifically set the gravity here to zero so our enemy doesn't go just falling through the air. Um, and then uh, we are going to see what it looks like. And I actually know for a fact that this is not going to work completely actually at all because we have not added in any following to the component yet. We haven't actually just set it up. So uh, all this is gonna do is fly the enemy forward at X rate that you set it at for the initial speed, in our case 400. Uh, so we are actually going to go into the event graph here and what we are going to do is we are going to grab our flying AI, drag off of there, and we're going to say set homing target component. And so what we can do here is set where our enemy is going. So if you have different points that you want your enemy to go rather than just the player, we can do that here. For now, I am going to get the player pawn, and I know what um, 
game mode I'm in, so I'm going to just cast this to third person just to get my character and do a pure pat cast because I don't think it will fail. Uh, and then we're going to get the capsule component. And that'll get the location of where our character is and set it to the homing or get the get the character object rather and set it to the homing object that we're following with our uh, component. So if we go back here and click play, we can see that our object is now running towards us. Pretty cool stuff, right? Uh, the last thing we're going to want to do here is rotation follows velocity. And that will fix the projectile not wanting to rotate and face you. So now we can see the turn rate, it's getting affected. If we come up here, it's going to follow us. And yeah. Um, so now the only problem we face is what happens. Oops, he has no collision on him, does he? <laughs> I'm just going to slap on a quick collision here. Because we want you. We're just going to sit on that. Yeah. Right, so now our object can actually collide with something. Cool. So, when we collided with something, it's not moving anymore. And this is because our projectile movement f uh, figures out that it hit something and it says, okay, I don't need to just keep moving myself forward. Uh, the way we work around this for this little basic AI here is we're going to go back to our flying AI or projectile movement. We're gonna find down here projectile bounciness. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add that, do a bounciness of one, and a friction of zero. And so what this does is every time it hits an object, it'll bounce directly off of it and lose zero velocity. Uh, and that's key in making this object keep moving. So we can see it can kind of move and maneuver its way around other objects pretty easily just by bouncing off of it and moving around. So yeah guys, pretty cool stuff. Um, it works pretty well. Uh, again, this is not an end-all be-all solution, but I really hope you uh, found this tutorial useful. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask down below. Um, and also, um, yeah, if you guys want other tutorials or have any other suggestions, this is my first one I've ever done, so hope you enjoy. Peace out.